Well, I have a feeling this one might keep rolling. <laughs> Um, two unexpected things happened yesterday. Well, three, if you count the fact that I almost got a fair trial. Because it's really fucking gnawing at me as to why the prosecution lawyer said he did not want compensation for his client. Um, and yet the magistrate awarded the compensation. Doesn't sound right, does it? I mean, there was no arrest warrant, that's pretty clear. No, in fact, every attempt to not show me an arrest warrant. So it was all completely illegal and bogus and yada yada yada. But yes, I presume Mrs. Magistrate has um, run off back to the Chief Constable with the news. Because um, these things do take time to sink in, kids, you know. I'm not like a machine. Um, but yes, I, I would love an explanation on that one as to why the prosecution lawyer clearly stood there and said his client did not want costs and suggested the uh, compensation and suggested £85 costs and the magistrate then went ahead and gave him compensation. Um, anyway, two things happened yesterday a bit unexpectedly. One, as I have mentioned, uh, a lawyer came in to see me from a local firm he was um, duty brief. Um, they'd asked me on a number of occasions if I wanted legal advice. I said no. I'd phoned up a lawyer on one occasion just to get them to turn over the so-called evidence they had against me, which was a very sketchy screenshot print off of a, I suppose what you might call an application for a, an arrest warrant, which meant nothing because obviously someone could just um, pull the form up and fill a few details in and then get rid of it once they've done the screenshot. Um, but he came in and, and he was actually very good. Um, you could see there was things he didn't want to say in front of the magistrate, but he said them anyway. Um, because obviously these people can be had up for contempt of court if they start treating their mouth off and whatever. I think that's wrong, but they can. Um, but there was things he didn't want to say but said them anyway and then filled in a lot more detail than he had to to be honest um, and I was something I can't remember what it was it was something very simple there was some a line of evidence which came from a completely different place altogether I forget what it is now and when I remember I shall have to think about that because I thought at the time what was that doing in there anyway um, but yes, he came in and did a fairly sort of sterling job. Um, there is a lawyer I'd like to have represent me, is all I can say. Um, and then, secondly, some health worker came in, which I've got a bit of paper somewhere. Um, ah, yes. Uh, CPFT Specialist Services. Cambridgeshire and Peterborough NHS Foundation Trust. There you go. So this woman came in from these people and um, said, do you want to chat about general sort of health issues and stuff like that? Um, now, I'd had this this bloke who worked for them come round to the police station on the Sunday and I'd like, no, I'm not interested. And then it, it was a different time the next day, you know, I was waiting to go into court. That was, that whole police station part of it was over and I'd, I'd, I was feeling a bit more sort of upbeat and stuff and I thought, well, yeah, okay, why not? You know, he'll get me out of the cell for half an hour. That's not why I did it, but um, I thought, why not? And, I mean, some of you will know, I've, I've seen psychiatrists and stuff before who basically, um, if they were anywhere less interested, I would have actually fallen asleep. Um, but she seemed quite sort of engaging and positive and um, newer stuff and was very interested in what I had to say. Um, and she has actually filed some sort of report with the court. I don't know if that affected the case or not. Uh, and I think I have possibly dealt with these on one occasion before. I'm not sure. But yes, slightly, slightly, just a little bit, restores my faith in the system. I'm not going overboard here. <laughs> <laughs> but just to, that was too welcome 
interventions, shall we say. Um, can't obviously say what had happened if I hadn't spoken to the lawyers particularly or if I hadn't spoken to her. But really, I'd, yes. I don't really know what it was all about, but Interesting. Anyway, as I say, I'm sure there'll be more about the weekend's events as I continue to cogitate over them. <laughs> Thank you for watching.